Hey great people, what's happening? Welcome and thank you very much for tuning. I am a lesbian woman of color, ran web on her gender identity journey. Guys, this must be crazy. Let's see what we have here. Thank you. Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored. A county politician in Indiana, in the United States, is making headlines this week by well, exploring his identity. A councilman is coming out as a transgender, as transgender and a woman of color. Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb announced that he now identifies as an Indian American woman. Since that announcement, he's received some support, but a lot of backlash, many calling him childish, despicable, even calling for things like execution. Yeah, that's always how the woke left responds, isn't it? You must execute him. Um, now, he issued a statement after the furore, Ryan Webb. He said, after much consideration, I've decided to come out and finally feel comfortable announcing my true, authentic self. This is Ryan Webb. Uh, he said, it is with great relief that I announced to everyone that I identify as a woman, not just any woman, but as a woman of colour as well. I guess this would make me gay lesbian as well, since I'm attracted to women. Whew! That felt good to finally get that out there and start living my life as my true self. Well, Ms Webb's statement has not been met with the empathy and gushing support normally extended by the woke community. Some have even demanded that he resign. They resign. Well, that he has basically made a hate speech in this post on April 11th. And I feel that he should resign. And if he doesn't, I would, I would look at county council to talk to legal and see what they can do about removing him because he has created some hate and discord and divide with the transgender population here in Muncie. He must be executed, he must be cancelled, he must be fired. It's the usual predictable response to what was obviously a, a joke, but it was a smart joke, because actually what it did was expose the farce of limitless self-identity. I myself identified on International Women's Day as a black lesbian. Why shouldn't I be able to, if you can identify as anything you want? Esther's cackle when I said that went around the world. Well, Ryan Webb joins me now, uh, alongside Talk TV's Nicola Thorpe and Esther Cracker, as I've just said. Well, Ryan, thank you for joining me. So I did chuckle because I had a similar thing myself, which you may or may not have heard about, uh, when I did a similar stunt. Uh, but you were making the same point, I think, which is, if we really want to have a world where anyone can identify as anything, well, why shouldn't you be able to identify as a woman of colour? Well, Pierce, uh, you're absolutely right. And I, I appreciate it. I want to thank you for bringing me on the show. And uh, as a fellow uh, lesbian woman of color, um, I feel we have a deep connection here. But you're right. They've uh, they've laid the groundwork. They set it up where anybody can be anything that they want uh, just by simply declaring it. And, um, you know, that's what we're doing here. And it uh, turns out that they don't really feel as strongly about that and believe it in their soul as they would make you believe because... Um, I wasn't really as accepted in the beginning as you would think someone of my stature would be. Yeah, and the reaction was unbelievably vicious. People calling for you to be executed. Of course, they wanted you fired. Of course, they wanted you cancelled. And all entirely predictable because it's fine for them on the other side of this debate to identify as whatever they want. But the moment you dared to identify as what you decided you wanted to be for that day, all hell breaks loose. It's the double standard. Well, uh, predictably, uh, the political left, they, they always implode on their own ideology. Um, I've, I've made a statement that I'm just holding up the mirror uh, to them, and they're doing all the damage themselves. I've just stepped back, and uh, with their own words and their own actions, they're just uh, dismantling their entire ideology uh, that they've worked very hard to build up to this point. Um, and in my opinion, they've turned the clock back uh, two, three years. Um, you know, just a few days ago, all you had to do uh, if you wanted to self-identify as anyone as you choose is just declare it. And it was a universal truth that that had to be accepted. Mm. Uh, but now uh, the truth is clear that uh, that's not the case. Now I'm being told you have to uh, do hormone treatments. You have to uh, start dressing the part. You have to wear the makeup. You have to change your identification. Um, so, you know, they've turned the clock back on their own movement a few years. And it's disappointing to see them give up so quickly on... Uh, something that they said they believe in so strongly. You know what, Ron? I, I had to chuckle watching genuine news reports having to report this legitimately because how else could they do it without obviously disrespecting you? 
without respecting your right to self-identity, which it just made me laugh. Ryan, I appreciate you joining me for Piers Morgan Uncensored. Thank you. What are you currently identifying as? Uh, I'm currently, uh, at the same time, I'm still identifying as a woman of colour. And I've, I've said uh, in a few other times, these journeys are often complex. And, uh, you know, sometimes we never know where they're going to take us. We could end up right back where we started. Um, <laughs> I'm just riding the... I'm just riding the wave, and wherever it takes me, that's where I'll be. Well, I wish you all the very best with your journey, Ryan, and thank you very much indeed for joining me. Thank you. <laughs> all right. It's a, it's a good laugh, uh, and watching the news reports was hilarious. But, Nick, like I see you fulminating <laughs> as you were listening to this. But why? Because just as I was doing, all he's really saying is, look, if we genuinely are moving to limitless self-identity, this is where it can go. We're not well, we are, to, though. We're not moving to limitless self-identity. There's male, female, non-binary. That's it. That's well, not it. Is BBC it? teachers well, are 100 genders. Trans. Genders is different. Genders is different. We're talking... Those what seven, sex is non-binary? Those... But somewhere between male and female. It's not, though, is it? That's yeah, not yeah, non-binary. There are 100 gender identities. No, okay. Non-binary is not... there are. No, non-binary is not the biological BBC sex. Is. The BBC and various other outlets have said, I, I hear the 72 genders quite often. Mm. That's just 72 different ways of describing something. You could also argue there's only three colours. Red, yellow and blue. But a mixture of all those make multitudes of colours. It's the same thing with uh, gender identity. How did you feel, male, for example... Female and non-binary. How did you feel about an American cyclist, Austin Killips, becoming the first yeah. transgender athlete to, women, to win a women's professional stage race. Yes. Right? This has caused complete outrage, and apparently mm -hmm. the vast majority... You can see towering over the female uh, competitors. But there. who's to say that height necessarily gives you an advantage? It clearly... Sport. But a lot of people will because say... Because, like, all these trans athletes, when you look at how they competed as males, yeah. they didn't compete with anything like the success. So, clearly, they have a physical, biological advantage purely from having gone through puberty. It is indisputable. So anyone it who tries... The moment I hear anyone on this side of the trans activist argument, I support trans rights to fairness and equality, but the moment I hear anyone on that side of the argument trying to defend what's happening in sport, in women's sport, mm -hmm. they lose me. Do you, because you're denying biological facts. But do you know how many trans athletes that have... Competed, more and more. ..competed in the Olympics? More... But, uh, One. OK, so here's what you do with One. the Olympics. Let's remove any specific gender from Olympic qualification. OK. What do you think would happen? Well, that's... What, what would happen? What would happen... Yeah. ..is that... How many women would compete in the Olympics if it was, if it was gender neutral? Probably just as many women would compete, but on certain sports... No, yes, no, they wouldn't, no, no, they wouldn't, they wouldn't qualify. No women would qualify. OK. Apart from equestrian and shooting, I think. Mm -hmm. Everything else... But you're Olympic... taking it... I, I no, no, Nicola, no, Nicola, no, here's my point. Your argument, but there is a reason we separate the sexes there is, in absolutely. sports. absolutely, yes, because men, generally speaking, because are stronger and more... Because it's unfair, because, because, because unfair women, women. Yes. wouldn't win any yes, medals. Yes, because it's unfair on women. So why is it fair for people who are biological mm -hmm. males yeah. to put their hand up and say I'm a woman and compete against biological females? Because you're being disingenuous. It's cheating. They don't have to put just put their hands up and say I'm a woman. They have to transition for two years, and for two years they have to be on hormone replacement therapy. Can I ask to, a question to about that? Esther. Because I feel... How is this in line with the doping, anti-doping legislation? Because you, on one hand, you have people like Serena Williams who actually failed a drug test for taking too much aspirin, mm -hmm. but you're allowing biological it's the males same. It's the to form pump of their bodies full of all sorts of hormones so their testosterone levels, which is not all women are, by the way, we're much more than just testosterone. Exactly, I agree with be, you. I to wish be within it, I wish a certain it wasn't range. Down to Why are they well, Austin Killis won't be having periods every month, which will affect training, but for example. Exactly. I don't have periods every month. That you're unique. I'm sorry. Most women... no, a lot of women don't appear as any, any month if you're on your coil. Well, right. That's, because, that's <laughs> but a lot of what, what is medical... a lot of sports women find... have told me that is rarely mentioned as one of the reasons why yeah. it's also incredibly unfair. But you just have to see Austin Killips towering over the biological He's female. That, but let's and talk about what was his name. Clear of his Ryan Webb. You know, Piers, yeah. Ryan Webb is not being genuine. And that's why the people on the left, such as myself, What, what is the called... standard of genuine? No, he's, he's genuinely sending up the hypocrisy. He's sending up the hypocrisy, as you were saying, you know, I mm. want to identify as a black lesbian, yeah. blah, blah, blah. OK, so nobody is saying that you can identify as a different race or you can identify well, as... Why not? It's, even though it's more logical. Why can't because you? Because race actually is a spectrum. Exactly. Sex isn't. I actually had my DNA done and I discovered I had no English DNA whatsoever, mm -hmm. mainly Celt, so it was like Scottish, Irish, a lot of Irish. But and then a bit this of is genuine. Oh, but hang on, I have 6% Middle Eastern. Yes. So am I an Arab? Yeah, 6% of you is. So I'm, I'm I could, not so I could identify as Arabic. Yeah, but ultimately you are... And yet you would say, and most Arabic people would say, what are you talking about? You're not. Well, yeah. You're born in England, you're a white guy, you're not Arabic, right? 
However, it's more complicated, far more complicated than biological sex. Yeah, biological sex. Look, can you define for me then what is a biological, what is a man? Yeah, it's, a, it's an adult male. And what is an That's adult it. male? And an adult male mm -hmm. is an adult male. It's a biological sex, chromosome. It's pretty easy sex to define. chromosome but... fact-based thing. But what, is, what makes it's like it It's like I asked the Prime Minister of Australia. The chromosomes. I asked the Prime Minister so of Australia, what is a woman? And he replied, well, exactly. it's an adult and female. This is not difficult. But, but what defines a man? Huh? The, the chromosomes. Take what any cell in a male's body. And what are the male you can, chromosomes? You can, Let's play the yes. Prime Minister of Australia. Here we are, look. Very easily. What is a woman, Prime Minister? An adult female. How difficult was that to answer? Not too hard. He was just on Time magazine's 100 most influential list, named by Justin Trudeau, the wokest human being in the history of planet Earth, as the champion of progressive yeah, politics understand. around the world. Even he understands what a woman is. Yes. You know what's happened to him today, all around Australia? Absolutely buried with abuse from the trans activist mob who say what he said there was transphobic. Transphobic for saying a woman is an adult female. It's nuts. Oh, this is wonderful topic. Uh, I'm very <laughs> delighted to listen to these guys. Guys, thank you for watching. And if you want to listen to such, please do press that subscription button. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.